Hello and welcome to last week's coffee vlog this week. Uh, it's now Thursday the, I don't know what it is actually, 6th of April. Uh, so we've headed into April, because last Friday was the 31st of March, end of the month. Um, due to complicated reasons, I never got round to doing last week's vlog. And today's vlog is on a Thursday because it's Easter. So um, going to be away from work four days uh, and I'm not going to get a chance to do the vlog any other day so this is kind of a, a double vlog in one as you say um, so yes two weeks worth of vlog in one and it's probably not going to be that long because I've got loads to do today as well so not helping anything so fairly busy couple of weeks work wise with the ramp up to Easter um, getting people stock delivered ready for the Easter break and obviously the weather's now improving a bit so we should be getting an upturn in um, people out drinking coffee so uh, the coffee shop sh sales should go up a little bit as well. Um, had um, the weekend before last um, quite a busy time sorting out um, my boys gaming PC yet again um, I don't know what it is, previous builds, um, never had a problem with the processor, you know, just slept on some thermal paste, stock cooler, and it ran fine. But the, the AMD, um, I think it's the Ryzen 5 7600, he's got in the current one, um, just always wanted to run hot, I don't know why. Um, replaced the thermal paste after, I think, three months. Um, which was baked, uh, but I thought it was a thermal paste, so I got a, a new set of Arctic Silver, and that's lasted seven or eight months, maybe. And then, um, yeah, it, that process was running hot all the time again. Um, in fact, it got to the point where I just got the CPU fan set in the BIOS to full all the time, um, just to keep it a bit cooler. So I kind of decided in the end the stock cooler wasn't helping a great deal and I didn't want to keep removing, reapplying thermal paste and put it on again. So um, I ended up springing for one of the um, AIO um, liquid coolers, which is pretty much what everything modern comes with nowadays anyway. Um, and that basically is liquid cooled by a pump so you, are, you have a block with fluid running through it that attaches to the CPU and then hoses go to a radiator that you mount at the top or front of the case. Um, and the one I went for um, is an MSI one which also has an LCD on the CPU pump um, so you can monitor temperatures, speeds of um, the pump and fans and things. So. That's pretty cool. Um, complete pain to install because I was going to put it in the top, but it wouldn't fit because the RAM got in the way and the, the fans and the radiator just made it too low. That hit the RAM. wasn't going to fit whatever way I tried to puzzle it out. So we ended up having to take two of the front fans out, which are remounted in the top anyway. Um, so I could fit the new fans in at the front, radiator at the back, and the screws were just long enough for to um, to reach through the case and grab the radiator. Um, so front mounted it, um, and some typical examples running games could be at 90 degrees on the CPU. The drop down was to 55, so it idles between 38 and 44, where it was idling about the 60s before. Um, but yeah, gaming, you know, you're talking nearly 40 degrees temp difference, it's a big difference. So um, yeah, big improvement that's been, uh, and hopefully deal with some of the lagging issues he's had as well, but still always seems to be something else that's lagging or what whatnot, but um, I don't know quite what to do, but it's better than it was anyway. Um, so I think we've got Mr. Nellis's words, if I can have a quick look for that. Mr. Nellis says, my thing is to talk about on your vlog. I've been to the Dusty Miller with my mum and grandma Marsden for lunch on Sunday afternoon. Been to Judy Woods with Suzanne Wardle on Monday afternoon. I've watched about Schmidt with 
barring Jack Nicholson, that's good actually. But when I will go to the Great Yorkshire Show with my mum and Grandma Marsden, as it will be on Tuesday into the Thursday, as my mum and Grandma Marsden have others to do on Thursday. <laughs> Fair enough. The new Super Mario film is supposed to be good, yes. I think Jack Black's supposed to be Bowser. Um, so, um, yeah. Mandalorian's been really good. Last week's Mandalorian, I really liked, um, which was the Pirates episode. Um, but, yeah. Um, Got to admit, uh, really getting in to the whole feel of the Mandalorian. It was such a, it was a bit of a feel good thing that the whole, the Mandalorian tribe comes back together again and they get their own place, um, their own planet, as it were, to um, to come together on. Um, and uh, of course, Bo-Katan as well, helping uh, Din out. Uh, it's been, um, yeah, it's been a really good series so far. I'm really enjoying it. I've not actually seen this week's yet, so I've got that to um, to watch. Um, I think I got distracted. I started watching Murder Mystery 2 on Netflix with Adam Sandler and um, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> really funny. In fact, it was so funny, I ended up looking for Murder Mystery, the first one. So I don't remember watching. Um, I'm re-watching that as well, so that was pretty good. So, um, yeah, so we've got lots more roasting to do. Uh, obviously, the Colombian work uh, has been volume. We've got big volume on Blue Coffee Box subscription service. So we're doing like 160 kilos a week to them at the moment. Uh, and then just everyone buying coffee, generally. So um, all go. Right, I'm going to get on. So this is going to be pretty much it. And then hopefully next Friday I'll get back to normal, if whatever normal is. I don't know what that is nowadays. Um, so have a good Easter and week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see you.